Hello everybody. I am Dr. Sogo Tamadu, pediatric gastroenterologist and hepatologist. On the occasion of World Viral Hepatitis Day, today I will discuss about Hepatitis A. Hepatitis E is a common waterborne viral infection, very commonly seen in children. In most of the cases, it has a self-limiting course which usually resolves by 3 to 4 weeks, but it can be severe enough which can lead to liver failure and death if emergency liver transplant is not done. There are few symptoms which usually comes before the onset of jaundice and that includes fever, anorexia, nausea, vomiting or pain abdomen. Among them, the most important one is loss of appetite or anorexia. However, we have to keep it in mind that jaundice is usually seen but in younger child it may not be seen. It's only detected by blood. When to get the child hospitalized, there is any clue regarding liver failure like excessive sleepiness, altered sensorium, not recognizing parents, deranged blood tests like prothrombin dying or INR, all these suggest possibility of acute liver failure. There is requirement of ICU care, it can be severe enough leading to death or requirement of liver transplant. However, few other conditions might require admission that includes vomiting which is not responding, there is deepening of jaundice, there is excessive lethargy, there is Coca-Cola colored urine or there is some abdominal distension or excessive itching. Hepatitis A virus spread via fecal oral route. It get excreted from the infected person in stool and then the virus gets transmitted to the next person by contamination of food or water. The major sources of contamination is not washing hands after using latrine and before eating food. Open defecation, groundwater contamination after rain, contamination of wells due to overflow of septic tanks are the major sources of spread. Flies sitting on foods and sweets or uncooked salads may be the same source. Roadside eateries selling golgappe, charts, fruit juices or sugar cane juices may cause spread of the virus if the water is contaminated. Multiple cases clustered at a single time or within a short interval can occur in play schools, residential schools, orphanages or refugee camps. So the most important question is how can the children be protected from this virus? So this virus is killed above 85 degrees centigrade of temperature. So boiling the water or cooking the food kills the virus. However, at home we need to practice few sanitary hygiene practices like proper disposal of diaper, washing hands properly after going to latrine, proper hand washing after cleaning the buttocks of the child and avoid open defecation. Before eating food, we also need to maintain hygiene like washing hands again with soap and water. Before eating or feeding the child, teaching the child proper hand washing, throwing away previously cut fruit salads and not buying sweets from shops where there is lots of fly on the sweets. There are two vaccines available in India one has a schedule of two doses six months apart and another one has a single dose regime and both the vaccines are approved above one year of age both are very safe and with good efficacy and the side effects are very minimal like injection site pain and tender as a extra precaution my suggestion would be to vaccinate your child if you are considering sending to residential school government is already running few programs to reduce the open defecation and Probably in future, hepatitis A vaccination will be included in the National Immunization Institute. Thank you.